Hey guys, it's Rocket Blade here. Once again, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Rocket Blade Let's Play of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Edition, or as some people call it online, Remastered Edition. If you're wondering why, well, on the original one, this remastered version was held hostage to the another Call of Duty game, and it was a space one, I forget the name. Point B. Yeah, Maleficent held it, and then she realized, wait, this isn't a horse, and then she gave it back. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. I love you, Coops. I love you, Coops. So, yeah, it was held hostage. I want to say it's Infinite Warfare. Yeah, it was Infinite Warfare. You had to find a legendary edition to buy to get this. <laughs> yeah, no. And then well, that of... made the audio spike. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for people with earphones. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, so then, um, so then eventually they did release on its own, but of course they, then people find when they did get it, it's like, oh, it has freaking loot boxes, even though you can, like, not have to use it, you get, like, in-game currency to buy stuff without using money, but also, not only, you know, and some weapons are tied to it, unfortunately, but then, what made another, another bad thing was the freaking, uh, that, oh, I almost forgot, the fact that you have to rebuy maps again, old maps, even though it's supposed to be the big better. collective mission failed, we'll get them next time played at that very moment. For real. So, it rebuying map for even though it's supposed to be the the, you know, the remastered version, you know, aka the best version that has everything. Yeah, rebuying maps, you know. But you know, I did get it. It was on the sale. But I do admit, I feel a little bit dirty for doing it. But I want to get the full experience of the game. Yeah, it can't be as dirty as my Doka compared to this. Like you know, man. <laughs> but Any, still, anything's better than that. But still, it's like it shouldn't have like it shouldn't like, you know. It shouldn't have been like that. Uh, do the hardest one, no balls? No, I'm not going to hate myself. <laughs> like, remember how... I got to tell you a story. Do you remember how fucking, like... I was, like, reading, like, Alien... Oh, yeah, this, this... Isolation. Clever reviewer. Okay, so, IGN. Of course, I know IGN. So, they did the... I, Alien ignorant I, gaming... Not nice word. And so, ignorant <laughs> IGN. But anyway, so... Um, IGN this was, is a boat. <laughs> Look at the boat. There are red people on the boat. No, I'm not racist in saying those are Native Americans on the boat. They are literally red people, like in Super Hot. Fun, fun fact, your name's so people. Ma 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 <laughs> oh, I'm a computer dude? I, I can be my a dead computer system? Because I don't know anybody who uses a Macintosh anymore. I hear you. But anyway, so... Right. Yeah, the reviewer. The, the ignorant reviewer. So, Alien Isolation. So, you know, it was one of those things like... You know, you're reading it, it's like, oh man, he's not really giving a favorable review, with all these problems, yeah, I mean, Kind of looking like it's kind of a bust, like Colonial Marines was again. But then, like, then, but, then, but then, like, what killed what killed the guy, right from the beginning, was the fact that he admitted and said, oh, he played it on the hardest difficulty. And, and, and many thought, like, uh, well, did you play it on normal, or easy to see that the AI... How the AI function from there? Nope. Just because he played the hard difficulty, he had a bad time, he gave it a bad score. Instantly terrible. Go to jail. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy is going to hell, not jail. But yeah, it's just one of those things. Just like, it's like, oh boy, it's like, oh boy, again. And you wonder why people make fun of you. It's like, don't. By the way, you were such a monster killing those guys in their sleep. Like, well, we had to. It's part of the it's part of the game. You're a monster. Yeah, what we can do. But um, yeah, man, it's just like it's just. <laughs> I'm just like for real, dude. That that's it. No, like, or at least I was at least hoping like because sometimes in some reviews they have like a second opinion and mm -hmm. stuff on it. I was hoping maybe like for a second opinion on it. Nope, that's that's it. That's, that's how they feel about it. It stinks. You know, other critics even like a solid, you know, seven or eight, some even nine, depending on where you go. But all saying, it's a, it's a, it was a good alien game. With, and they did a great job with the license. Which, by the way, um, I know it's probably gonna be dated whenever this comes out, but it's on sale. It's a midsummer sale right now for only ten bucks. So, we're throwing out there for alien fans. The but then again, it's like, that's one of the ones that, like, always goes on sale. Like the Handsome Jack collection? Yeah, which is on sale again. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we didn't hear nothing about Four Legs 3, and I'm kind of sad about that. Yeah, oh my god, you're right. Hey, don't feel bad, we hear nothing about Final Fantasy VII either. 
Yeah, like what happened with that shit? Yeah, what happened with that? Oh, shit? I'm hearing, you know, you know, the really, a, a, really, a, really, a real kick to the nuts. I'm hearing rumors that it won't come out till 2021. You know what I mean? You stupid. <laughs> Like, oh but then again, with um with Gearbox, I'm gonna guess we're gonna hear from it on packs because they kind of treat that as their their baby. They really like doing their information stuff at packs. But then again, they're one of the, their last panel on packs. Yeah, so I, yeah, that is that cool. But what, what was bad about it? Or like how the legends of how bad that. Well, was. first of all, they were straight up, yo, we got no information on Borderlands. So for those who came for that, sorry. All right, cool. Um, they talked more about, um, what was their Overwatch competition game called again? Um, but, uh, Battleborn. Battleborn, thank you. Um, they just kind of talked more about that, and it was like, okay, they're showing support for it, which, you know, arguably at this point, and even, even at that, I mean, arguably at that point, but, of course now, that, that game is done, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, they released at such a horrible time yeah. in the same month. Why would you do that? Hell, I'm worried about Resident Evil 2 coming out of the same, the remake coming out at the same time as, uh, you know, uh sorry, in the parts 3. I'm surprised. See, 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 Cooper, I accidentally shot, uh, Captain Price here and did like the whole, you shot your. Oh, you nice, because I always hated that about Call of Duty. It's just like, it's, it's always <laughs> gotta be realistic, because if we're not, you're a big faggot. <laughs> So it's one of those things like it, it I believe it's like on the harder difficulty it's more kind of like but on regular it's like hey just I think even Yo, warn cut you. it out, faggot. Yeah, I think they'll <laughs> even warn you like, hey dude, don't don't do that, you're shooting your teammates. Yeah. Well they'll be like, hey you shoot him, you stop it, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But eventually if you keep doing it, they'll they'll it'll it will they'll it will felt nice too. doing it. Uh what else? Randy did some weird hater song during the panel. For those recently who don't know how pointless it was, think like the PlayStation Conference Asian flute solo. It, it just, it was, it was a thing. Well, let me see this. Let me elaborate with Koopa, because, like, Koopa's, like, confused by Big Sony as the best in the winter, it might be. Okay, show-wise, it, no. Because I heard, like, because even though we saw it late, or, and besides the whole Japanese, you know, flute boogie thing. We're going to be, uh, oh, I'm just going to do you, well. Let's play over. Sorry, guys. Yeah. There was a bet how long it was going to be until the Bugingi card was used. It was used right here. We got to end it. I'm sorry. That was it. We didn't even last an episode. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> but, um, no. But, no. Yeah, he's elaborating just um, what he's trying to say about um, why you like the presentation the most overall. And I think this is just with anyone who says whoever their winners is. It's just a lot more in the personal show appealed to him. Yeah, personal preference. Because like Sony had announced, don't be wrong, Bethesda was an Xbox a good close second. They announced good stuff. Show wise, Xbox and Bethesda kicked ass, take names, absolutely. But like, announcer wise, PlayStation was awesome. Show wise, it was bad. I'm not gonna lie, because because even though you probably didn't know Koopa, because apparently, uh, foreign to people. Not only that there's like a little, like 30 minutes of that like nothingness, mm -hmm. um, there was also the fact that uh, there was like audio and like these, like the but the, the, the live stream would cut off. There was like audio seeking. It was a it was a nightmare. I heard. Uh -huh. So what a great stream. So it's a good thing we saw like the aftermath of it, yeah. and not live, because would have been like man, this is bad. So and I feel like honestly, what they should have done, PlayStation and Square should have combined. I saw squares, it's like, what's the point? And especially, even though they showed Kingdom Hearts footage, it was the same one that was shown thing in PlayStations. I, no, it was the same one that was shown that was like shown in, uh, that was shown in PlayStation, I believe. And like, I think Xbox showed like new footage. It was like, couldn't, but my, my, my thought was like, why couldn't Square save that for their own thing and not have another company presented like that? Because it makes like them showing it off, you know, they're showing it off so, so pointless. Yeah. It was just like, you know what I mean? It's like, what the hell? But, I don't know what happened. Did they dare to show up? No, because like, they got, we got the thing, and they, I guess the bad guys figured out that we have the, the thing we came for. And trying is to this kill Jump Force? Is this the trailer the Jump Force? Is this the Daydara Jump Force reveal trailer? Because they're in the real world for some reason? Like, come on, Cadet! We are living! I love that part. It's like, so intense. But anyway, so... We don't want to stay here and play my Xbox. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I was like so into me with the kid, geez. But anyway, yeah, Jump Force, that looks to be amazing. 
not wait for that, honestly. So, sadly, for those of you who want to write names in the Death Note, Light is not playable. Yeah, he's just he's a not, story he's person. But then again, more. it's like, <laughs> how could you have made him playable? He's just a normal dude, you know? Yeah, like, what, what, could, he, what could he have done, honestly? Just point at people and go, you are not nice person. That's <laughs> literally <laughs> it. I curse you. <laughs> but no, back before we went on the topic, back on like the Randy Pitchford and the conference on that. I mean, there wasn't much else to elaborate on it, really. I think they talked about like the Duke Nukem 25 anniversary remake thingy, which is cool. Right. But, you know, besides that, it was just a very, just kind of waste of time presentation. And this was PAX. This was like... Their big... Mm -hmm, their okay. E3. It wasn't like just some hand, off-hand... Shit pulse like Tenacon mm -hmm. was, because mm -hmm. her Tenacon was, that was a shit show. Yeah. Yikes. Alright, Koopa, that was the first mission. We're done. Wow! That only took 11 minutes! Well, yeah, we'll let the intro play out for a moment. And yeah, call it Remaster Edition, or some people call say of Remaster Gold. Edition. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, man, that's, uh. That was the first mission. But, um. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 I'm having fun so far, I really love this game, man, but yeah, it's like, it's a game, but like Koopa said, it's like, they just, they had an opportunity, like, they really, like, get their fans pumped, and it's like, I don't know, it's just like, for real? For real, you're just gonna just, like, botch it? Like, okay, so we'll, we'll cut off once, like, when, once we, like, get, get control again, then we'll pause like that. Okay. There's no point, like, stopping in here, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Coops. It's like, you had opportunity to, like, really get pumped for Foreign Land, and it's just like, I'm sorry, you, 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 it just should have been up front. But then again, if there would have been up front, people would have left and not cared, and just like, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, they were technically up front with it, but they weren't up front until the day of. Like, they didn't announce before, like, hey, if you're going to come to this conference for Borderlands information, uh, disappoint you, nothing's happening. But they didn't say that until, like, the day of when everybody came in. Right. So. All right, well, that's the first part for now. Hopefully we'll be back for more parts and more gameplay for this incredible game, which I love to death, despite Activision being Activision. Yeah. <laughs> But alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. Have a great day. Goodbye!